Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Um, so I'm Kimberly, and I work here at Lebanon Baptist Church with the children, um, doing many, many different things. Um, and this is Karen Apple, and she also does a lot of things for the church. Um, for the purpose of this, we're going to be talking about Vacation Bible School. Um, Karen is our Vacation Bible School director. And so I just want to kind of ask her a few questions um, so we can let you guys know a little bit more about Vacation Bible School. So Karen, tell us, what is VBS or Vacation Bible School? Okay, it is um, a week that is packed with kids and fun. Um, we have the opportunity to tell these kids about Jesus and how much he loves them. Um, we get to have a blast with them and just do a lot of really cool and exciting things. That is so cool. So this year, when is it taking place? What are our dates this year? So this year is July 10th through the 15th, and that's a little bit of a change from normal. Normally we do Monday through Friday, but this year we're actually starting on Sunday. And we're running our week from Sunday through Thursday um, for the nights of EBS. And then on Friday night, we're having a family celebration. And so that's just where we get to showcase what's happened you know, during the week. The kids get to show off a little bit of what they've learned and share some of the songs and the verses that they've learned. And then we just get to you know, feed the parents and love on them and meet them and all that good stuff. That is awesome. And okay, it's time for the big reveal. I'm excited about this. What is our theme for this year? Running the race. Running the race. And our Bible verse is, which Hebrews 12, right? One and two. So running the, worst, the race with perseverance, um, you know, and so we're talk, talking to the kids about what it means to um, be disciples of Christ and what that whole relationship is. And so I'm really excited because I think that the kids, those who've been in church for a long time, those who haven't, either way, they're going to have that full, you know, gospel presentation. So explain to me, why are you so passionate about Vacation Bible School in general? Like what is, what is it about Vacation Bible School? Um, for one thing is just getting to work with the kids. Um, it's just, it's a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of just really cool moments that you get to have with them where you get to, you know, like you have some really heartfelt moments sometimes and you get to have some fun moments. You get to make really cool memories with them. Um, it's getting to share the love of God with them. And that's just something that, you know, like when else are we going to have all of these kids? I think last year we had, I think it was 265, I believe was our, our max number um, that we had. And so like what other week are we going to get all of those kids into our church at one time that we can love on them and tell them about Jesus? Um, I know for some of these kids, they may not be coming from the most ideal, you know, home life. And so um, maybe they aren't getting, you know, they don't, may not have the food that they need on the table. They may not have, you know, the love that they need. And so it's just our chance to love on them and show them Jesus. And so that just excites me of getting to share that with them. No, absolutely. And I mean, we know Jesus loved children. You know, it always, it talks about in scripture so much about how he would always make time for them. He would bless them, you know, and so we know that Jesus himself loved children. So what's not to love, right? I mean, you know, I love children too. So we both love kids. Um, and so, you know, what, so what is, what is something that we've talked about? You know, we, we've met together as a team and we've, we've been discussing, you know, what is it specifically about this year that we're going to try to really focus on? And then tell me kind of how you see us as a church all kind of coming around VBS this year. What is your vision for that? Okay, so as far as focus, um, one of the things that we really have talked about as a team is that we really want to see lives change for Christ. Like we, we really want to see dis decisions made this year. Um, and so like that's going to be a, a major focus of our VBS this year is just really presenting the gospel to them every single night and just giving them those opportunities um, and, you know, planting those seeds for them if they don't quite accept. Um, and then eventually we hope that that will not only, you know, stop with the child, but also overflow into the family to bring the families in as well. Um, and just, you know, for that, just to keep flowing. Um, as far as getting the church involved, we really are hoping and praying that the church will really just get involved and really just step up this year um, with that. Um, we, we've had an awesome volunteer group in the past, but one thing that we've really been praying for um, as a team, and I know um, several people have taken prayer calendars this year, and they've been praying as well. Um, we've been praying for God just to bless this program this year with new faces and new people, and specifically people that do not know him as their savior. And so we're, we're asking for that. We're asking, you know, for God just to bless, bless us with lots of souls to minister to. And so 
we pray believing that he's going to answer. And so if we believe that he's going to answer, we've got to have people here that are going to receive that, that blessing. And so we've got to have people here that are going to help us, you know, to minister and help us to, you know, feed the kids and play games with the kids and get the, get them from station to station and um, tell them about Jesus and all those kinds of things. And so we more than ever going to just really need a lot of involvement from our church. So we're really hoping that no matter the age, you know, that pretty much like, you know, from college up that we really hope that that our members will get involved in some way, shape, or form, even if it's just coming and praying each night, you know, for, for what's going on. Well, and hey, we can all pray, right? That is something that every single person can do. I know in my own life, if I'm going through a crazy situation, or even when I'm not, having people around me that are praying makes a huge difference, you know? And so everybody can pray. I think that's something everybody can do, right? And so, um, Karen, you know, speaking of that, what are some, just give me some specific ways that people can be involved in VBS. You know, I mean, I know that some people may come to you and say, I don't know about children. I'm just not comfortable around children. So maybe speak not only to people who love kids, but people who don't really know how to interact with children. What would be some good ways for anybody to get involved in Vacation Bible School? Okay, so we, of course, you know, if, if you love kids, we can put you with kids to help get kids from place to place. We need people to play games. We need people to check in, um, you know, whenever they arrive, to check in the, um, the students when they come, the kids. Um, we need people that will help with serving dinner. We need people that will help clean up after dinner. We need people to serve snacks. Um, we need people that will help with, in the parking lot and help with our safety team. We need people that will um, talk to these, these um, children about salvation. Um, we need people that will just help with like the paperwork, help with collecting money, collecting the food that comes in as, as it's donated, or the, um, the Operation Shoebox um, items as they come in. Um, so any of that, any way like that, I mean, if, if they don't want to work directly with kids, that is one thing we do have on the form. They would just check, prefer not to do that, and we'll put you behind the scenes, and we'll put you working with some of the more of the clerical things. So lots of ways. Awesome. So yeah, it sounds like there are a ton of ways you can be involved. So don't, don't let children scare you. <laughs> there are lots of ways to be involved in this. And, you know, speaking of what you said, so uh, we're actually going to be doing Operation Christmas Child this year as our uh, missions focus. And um, Nick and I are going to be recording here pretty soon a little more about Operation Christmas Child and talking about how the church churchwide is also going to get involved in that. So I'm super excited and passionate about that. Um, but Karen, thank you. And I'm super excited. I think that God is going to do something amazing this year because when we pray, we know that God is always working and always moving. Right. And so I, I would just, and I know Karen would ask this, please pray for VBS. Like start there. Please pray for all the kids that are going to be coming, all the volunteers that are going to be coming um, for us, you know, for, for Karen as she directs this, for me as I assist her in this and just for everybody in every area. So we would ask for your prayers. Um, so Karen, if somebody s says like after this, they get really excited and say, I want to volunteer for VBS, what should they do? Okay, they can either go to the church website and there's a link that they can um, sign up from there. Um, or they can also see myself or you and let us know and we'll get their information and that's all they need to do. That is awesome. Well, volunteer for VBS. That is what we're asking today. Um, and even if you're just unsure, I would just ask you to pray about it because sometimes God takes us out of our comfort zone. And so I just would ask that you would pray about volunteering for VBS this year. So thank you so much, Lebanon. We're excited to be with you today. And again, this is Karen, our VBS director, and I'm Kimberly, and we are so excited about what God's going to do.